In 10 years, our world is going to look so different than it does today. And in 20 years, it's going to look like it's straight out of a science fiction movie. Climate change is happening, population growth, very rapid technological advancements, as well as advancements in medical technology combining with ICT that have the potential to change what it means to be human. Which particular jobs are most in the firing line? Well, anything that involves predictable physical labor is first up, and then data processing and data collection type of jobs too. Things like driving a vehicle mm -hmm. or in a warehouse, packing and stowing things. Yes. In China, there's already a restaurant where they've got robot waiters. You walk in, you get greeted by a robot, it takes you to your seat, in the kitchen, there are robots that are doing stir fry and making dumplings, and then there are other robots that are serving you your meal. Pew Research did a survey, and they found that 80% of the people that they surveyed thought that their job would be unchanged or substantially unchanged for the next 50 years. But two-thirds of those same people thought that automation or robots would take over other people's jobs. It's going to happen, just not to me. Imagine a city where potholes were an ancient memory. There are a team of scientists at the University of Leeds designing fleets of tiny robots that will, in effect, design self-repairing cities. We're going to see all kinds of software programs that act on our behalf and that increasingly recognize things about ourselves that we may not even know. There's this huge, huge disconnect between what people think is going to happen and what's actually going to happen and the reality of where technology is at today. So education is absolutely fundamental. I see tremendous opportunities. You can take a dystopian view of the future, or you can take a view that we can actually shape our future and make it one that we want to live in. And that's my view.